All right, hello and welcome, Disney friends. Welcome to WDW Park Hoppers Live. My name is Park Hopper John. I want to welcome you to the show. I'm very excited that you are here and uh, very excited about what we're going to be talking about tonight. We have a lot of great news, some behind the scenes things that we're going to be talking about, as well as some really cool things that have happened this week that I get to share with you. Plus, we're going to start an all new uh, you know, we're going to do a new contest. Uh, so welcome, welcome to WDD, WDW Park Hoppers Live, uh, brought to you by WDWParkHoppers.com. Uh, four parks, one world, and everything in between. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being a part of it. I want to welcome you. I'm very excited that you're here, and I can't wait to get into it. One bit of housekeeping, though. Uh, this show is brought to you by a sponsor. It's brought to you by the Disney Bucket List. If you don't have a copy yet of the Disney Bucket List, you can find it on Amazon.com. You can also find it over at WDWParkHoppers.com and uh, grab a copy of that today. We would appreciate that very much. And uh, we love sharing our ideas, our bucket list, the things that we love to do at the parks with all of you guys. So that kind of gets that out of the way. So let's go ahead and get started on, uh, let's go ahead and get started on what we're going to be talking about. And I'm just trying to get to where I can see comments. That's a big deal. I, I never can see comments. If you're here and you're watching, could you give me a thumbs up and let me know that you're, that you're here, that you're, you're being a part of the group. And uh, if you have a comment, a question, please feel free to ask. I love to answer questions live on the air. And um, then we'll get going with that. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was um, I got to go see the Guardians of the Galaxy last week. And I really didn't have a chance to talk about it uh, very much uh, because I wasn't really allowed to say very much. But now I can actually talk a little bit more about it. Guardians of the Galaxy is uh, one of my favorite movies. And so when I, I, they made the announcement that they were doing uh, the next Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume 2 at the end of the last movie. So I was very excited about the op opportunity to see uh, more in that world. And, you know, the movie was in many ways much better than I'd, I'd really hoped. It was really good. Is it better than the first one? Yes. In some ways, uh, it's much better. In other ways, it's it's different. I'm not going to say, you know, that it's, you know, the sequel's always pretty good, but um, Marvel does a great job, and they've, they've knocked it out of the park yet again. And uh, you get, in the first 10 minutes, you get everything that was great in the first movie, uh, and so much more. And that's the cool thing about it because um, James Gunn really has tapped into what the fans want to see. And mainly it's you know, it's really all about Groot. So um, it's really cool what they did. Um, very, very interesting the way that uh, they put it together. There's a big baddie. Uh, Kurt Russell plays an incredible uh, Ego, the living planet. I was excited to see how that was going to be. Uh, Drax is amazing, has great one-liners. Gamora uh, and her sister Nebula kind of have a uh, a few moments there. We've got new characters. Uh, it's it's really it's really a lot of fun. Uh, Michael Rooker steals the show. Is Yondu? Um, it really is truly a roller coaster ride. Uh, there's a lot of moments where it's really sad. There's a lot of moments where it's it's extremely funny. The first half of the movie was very much uh, like a comedy, and you know the, the last half of the movie uh, did so much. Uh, we were we were just so excited to to come out of that movie and share it with people, but we couldn't for a long time. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, they're on another quest. Uh, they get split up. And uh, one group of people has to deal with the Ravengers. Another group has to deal with who Ego is. We find out who Peter, Quill, Peter Quill's father is. If you haven't already seen the movie, I'm trying really hard not to spoil it for you. Uh, but if you have seen the movie, you know it's, it's, really, it's really, really good. There's some surprises along the way. Uh, there's some reconciliations. There's some really cool things. And it really, truly is just a great 
adventure. Uh, I'm looking forward to start uh, to uh, to Guardians of the Galaxy three. They've already made the announcement, and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting um, the uh, Star Lord and Baby Groot at Hollywood Studios. If you haven't seen the video of that, it's it's pretty amazing. So uh, it gets two thumbs up, fifteen thumbs up. If I could find. Uh, 13 more thumbs. I would I would use it. It's a great movie. If you haven't gone to seeing it, please go see it uh, time and time again so that Marvel keeps coming up with more and more great content. So moving on, I wanted to talk about a very sad thing. We're getting ready to say goodbye to Wishes. And I've got my Wishes uh, Disney by the Numbers t-shirt club shirt, which is very similar to the uh, annual pass holder shirt. Um, but we're getting ready to say goodbye to our beloved Wishes Fireworks show. But I will say this. Um, because I live so close to uh, Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom, I was privy to seeing the test show for Happily Ever After. Now, I found video on YouTube. This is not my uh, video. I'm I'm just sharing it with you. I just want to be honest and open out this is not my video but i found this on youtube and i want to share it with you so what you're watching right now is testing uh of the new fireworks show so from my perspective being 10 miles away uh i had no idea the music was going on but i knew that the castle was being illuminated in a much different way because the castle was extremely bright you could see it uh more so than you normally can. So I knew they were lighting it up. Uh, we had several things uh, in the air that looked like lights when you're flying into like a like an uh, like a an airport. And I realized that was some of the new laser lights that they were playing with. They were actually hitting our house as far away as you know. I think five to ten miles somewhere in that neighborhood. That's as far away as we are from the Magic Kingdom. So it was an incredible uh, laser light display. Um, Park Hopper Harley says hello. <laughs> Uh, so as we were watching the, the amazing fireworks show began, and I'll say this, if you thought the big fireworks at the end of wishes were good, these fireworks seemed all to be about that size, if not bigger, it was tremendous. The colors they were getting uh, this video does not even do it remote justice. The colors were incredible. Uh, there were so many of them. It's an 18 minute show. The show ran forever. And from my perspective, it looked like there was so many lights that felt like they were kind of, I can't really describe it, they were wrapping in on each other. It was just a cool looking effect. And uh, there were some you know, they would explode and they would go to another color and then another color and then another color. And it was just incredible to see. And there were way more lights that they're firing in front of the castle now. Uh, the finale was was pretty good. Uh, it didn't seem much like a finale. Maybe they were holding that back and I didn't really see it. Um, there was one time I saw one big, large explosion that looked like it left a, a light trail uh, that looked like Spaceship Earth. It was just, it was totally incredible the way that it looked when it exploded and, and the remnant looked just like Spaceship Earth. It was really cool. Um, so many big booms, so many fireworks, so many colors, uh, so many different views. And the way they were using the fireworks was just incredible. I'm super excited for Happily Ever After. Uh, I hope that you are too. I know that there's there's a lot of contention because it's, you know, it's it's a uh, it's taking away one of our favorites, but I'm telling you, uh, give the show a shot because it truly is uh, amazing. And and I've heard that for uh, the 11th, which is in two days, uh, they're opening up the the spillway, uh, which is basically the extra exits uh, from backstage from like Main Street all the way back through to uh, Adventureland and from Main Street all the way over to Carousel, Carousel of Progress, which is open quite a bit. But a very it, it's very interesting to hear that they're opening up uh, the part behind Adventureland, which is usually where they're staging the parade. But since we don't have a parade, uh, they're they're opening it up for guests to, uh, to probably exit. I don't think they're gonna allow guests to stand there and watch fireworks. 
Um, but if you can get out there, we're not we're not planning on going out on the 11th because it'll be too too busy. But uh, happily ever after starts on the um, the 11th. No, the 11th is the last wishes. 12th is when happily ever after ends. And then we found out some very interesting information uh, from Disney Parks blog that they're going to be live streaming uh, the very first Happily Ever After Fireworks show at 8.55 at Disney Parks blog. Uh, so that's Disney Parks, one word, dot Disney, dot go, dot com. Uh, I'll put a link in the, uh, the comments below so you can find it. Uh, but on Friday, May 12th, Happily Ever After, which is presented by Pandora Jewelry, which I thought was very interesting. I wonder how long that contract is running for. Uh, it's going to take place at... Um, Magic Kingdom is going to make Disney theme park history by becoming the third nighttime fireworks spectacular to ever uh, illuminate Magic Kingdom. So I'm, I'm very excited, and Disney is so excited they're going to host a live stream. So start getting online around 8.50, 8.55, and a new blog post will appear. Keep refreshing the page, and then they're going to live stream it. So it's going to be kind of cool. So I'm going to watch the live stream so we get the music, and then we're going to have it. You know, we're going to sit out, hopefully, and watch it. Uh, live from our back deck. So that's kind of cool. So that's happening on uh, May 12th, which is Saturday. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. No, Friday. Friday, May 12th. My bad. Uh, yeah, Friday, May 12th. Got to get my facts right. Uh, so that's going to be an incredible event. Make sure that you tune in. I don't often talk about other blogs, but make, make sure you tune into the Disney Parks blog for that. Uh, that will be incredible. And so... The, uh, the last little piece of news I want to talk about uh, has to do with uh, one of my favorite movies that came out years ago, which was uh, part of a franchise called Cars. Uh, Cars 3 is coming to a, a Disney uh, theater near you. Uh, guests visiting Disney parks will be able to preview scenes from Disney Pixar's Cars 3 and sneak peeks that are planned for Disneyland and Walt Disney World Resorts. At Disney California Adventure Park, the preview of Cars 3 is going to be presented in 3D, of all things, with special in-theater effects that's going to be presented in a Bugs Life theater. That's going to be starting on May 12th. Now, beginning May 26th, guests at Disney's Hollywood Studios will get to see this advanced look at a segment from the film as part of the One Man's Dream attraction. Now, our little perk is going to be there's going to be special artwork and maquettes from the production that will be on display. So we'll get to see a little bit of uh, the new movie. Uh, very excited by that. Uh, so, a quick synopsis is blindsided by a new generation of blazing fast racers. The legendary Lightning McQueen uh, is suddenly pushed out of the spot that he loves, which is number one. To get back into the game, he will need the help of an eager young race technician, Cruz Ramirez, uh, with her own plan to win, plus inspiration from the late, fabulous Hudson Hornet, and a few unexpected turns. Uh, proving that number 95 is through yet will test the heart of a champion on Piston Cup Racing's biggest stage. So that's going to be pretty cool. Definitely want to get a sneak peek of that. They've been doing sneak peeks for a long time for Disney movies that have been coming out. So definitely want to ch uh, check that out if you're at Disney's California Adventure or if you're at uh, Walt Disney World here at Disney's California, no, Hollywood Studios. Uh, I keep teasing that they're they're changing the name of it, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. So, so check that out. That's exciting. Uh, that's going to be something really cool that uh, we're going to be able to take part in. Let me ask you a question: How do you feel about how they're using the One Man's Dream exhibit? Do you feel like they're they're making the best use of it, or do you feel like they should put the the Walt movie back in? I know my personal vote uh, is to put the Walt movie back in to update it and. To put the Walt uh, movie back in because I just feel like they're, you know, they're not really doing all that they could to to keep Walt's presence in the theme park. So that's just me. Uh, how do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments. Hmm. So finally, um, we didn't really have anybody uh, re up on the contest for last week, so I figured part of that was because you didn't really have a good idea what you're playing for. So here's what we're gonna do. This week we're gonna have another contest where you're gonna to have to send me via a photo in the comments below of one of your favorite experiences at Disney Springs. So go through your best photos from your past Disney trips and share 
one photo that you don't mind sharing uh, with WDW Park Hoppers. Everybody's going to see that post uh, from your last visit to um, Disney Springs or downtown Disney. And uh, share a couple sentences why that photo is so important to you. If you do that, you're going to win a very special prize pack from our friends at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I should just do that right there. Disney's Hollywood Studios. And what this is, is a backpack. This is one of their new cinch bags. So this has got the Starfield. This is kind of their, uh, their trademark thing. So it's a cinch bag. It's really cool. Very spacious. It's got a nice zipper thing in the front. It holds a lot of things. And some of the things you can put in it, oh, I don't know. How about a very awesome Planet Hollywood Observatory hat. Adjustable. So you don't have to worry about one size fits all. Uh, you can adjust it. And that goes right in there. And then, uh, it's not a Tervis tumbler, but it's a pretty cool tumbler uh, from Planet Hollywood Observatory. Brand new, never been used. The straw hasn't even been uh, messed with. So we got this as a goodie pack for when we went to a, a Planet Hollywood Observatory meet and greet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it away. So send your favorite picture for a trip to either downtown Disney here at Walt Disney World or Disney Springs. Uh, and a couple sentences why that photo is so important to you. And you might win a special gift pack from WW Park Hoppers, ultimately from Planet Hollywood Observatory, so you can get a swag bag. If you've never gotten a swag bag, swag bag from a press event, this is your opportunity. So uh, put those in the comments to this video, and uh, I would appreciate that. And I have one other question. How is 8 o'clock on Tuesdays working for you? Are you digging it? Uh, there are some Tuesdays that I'm not going to be available, and we'll just flip it to Thursdays. But I think Tuesday is going to be the night. Uh, if you're cool with Tuesdays at 8 p.m., I'll be here every Tuesday at 8 p.m. as well. So I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy weeks to uh, share some Disney magic. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can definitely uh, share those with me. Let's see. We've got some comments here. Um, Stephanie Chase, our buddy Stephanie Chase is here. And the dog say hi. There we go. There's some comments. Um, any news info on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride? The dogs are barking. Um, yes, there is. I can't share any of it with you, but I do know for a fact that there is new information. Let's go with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, looking forward to see happening ever after absent. Yeah, we are too. Uh, Missy says, love the live stream. Thanks. I appreciate that. I, I appreciate you guys. Let me know that. That's why we, guys, somebody better be breaking in this house is all I got to say. Um, that's why we do this. Uh, if you've never heard the story about why we started WDW Park Hoppers, it was really because of uh, my mom, who's stuck in Ohio. She can't get to the Disney Magic as often as we do. So we started it to share all of the Mickey magic, the Mickey love that we have uh, and share it with you guys. So that's why we do what we do. Uh, Stephanie agrees with putting the Walt movie back. Love Disney history because of the other studio that they've been uh, using to show preview movies in already. The, uh, you know, they've got the theater. They had the movie. The movie just got old. They need to, to revamp it and put the movie back. Because I think the further we get from Walt's passing, the further we get from that history and that legacy. And there's going to come a generation where people don't know why we call it Walt Disney World. And that is going to break my heart. And uh, I've heard uh, different people talk about different things about, you know, name changes and stuff. And this is not a rumor. It's just we've had some conversations in private with some friends of mine. And uh, somebody threw the idea out that they're thinking that they might change the name. I don't think they will. I think it will always be Walt Disney World. Uh, and I hope it's that way. And I hope that people continue to ask questions like, who is Walt? Who is Walt Disney? And uh, had a great conversation today. Um, check out Disney Parks Podcast. Uh, we have a new show coming out tomorrow, but definitely check out our show on Friday. No, next Friday, I think. Uh, we interviewed Margaret Carey. If you don't know who Margaret Carey is, she was the body model for Tinkerbell. If you love Tinkerbell, you love Margaret Carey. So we're very excited that we got to talk to Margaret for a full hour uh, it's probably one of the most amazing conversations that I've ever had. So 
Um, so that's kind of it. That's that's my time for tonight. I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, please like the video, share the video, come back next week, come back as often as you can. And if there's ever anything that you'd like to see here specifically, just let me know. I will do my research for it and make sure that I bring you the best Disney news that I can. There's a lot of other bloggers that do exactly what I do, but I try to have my little corner of the world um, and I just do it my way. So I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, go out to Amazon or www.parkhoppers.com, grab a copy of the Disney bucket list. I would appreciate that greatly, and uh, we might be running. Uh, we might be running something special here coming up in the next couple months. I don't know, but other than that, guys, thank you for your time. Thanks for coming out, uh, Ramon. Ramon's in the house. Hey, buddy. Um, thank you for taking time. Make sure you visit www.parkhoppers.com for par uh, four parks, one world, and everything in between. I've had a great night, Disney friends. Can't wait to see you real soon.